Hey there, Python trainer Reuven Lerner here. Um, something came up in my corporate training today that I think could be really useful for a lot of developers because this problem comes up quite a lot. So the exercise that I gave people was to create a list. So my list equals empty list here. And then what I wanted them to do was repeatedly ask the user for inputs, two words, one word, a second word, and those would be values in a dictionary. And we'd add the dictionary to the list. And again, we add get inputs and add the dictionary to the list and on, on, and on. Um, and it doesn't really matter what the values are. It doesn't really matter what the keys are. The important thing is that we're going to be repeatedly adding a dictionary to a list until the user gives us an empty string, at which point we stop asking. So this is the code that my student created. D equals the empty dictionary there. And then we're going to say while true. I'm going to say here S equals input enter two words strip if not S break. So if we get an empty string from the user, we're going to break out the loop. Otherwise, I'm going to say here first second equals S split. We're going to run the split method on white space on S, get back two elements. We hope two elements. Let's assume our users are well behaved. Assign those to first and second. And then I'll say here D of first equals first and D of second equals second. And then we're going to say here my list append of D. So far, so good, right? Uh -huh. If you can see the problem, you know we're heading toward danger. And I'm going to here print my list with every iteration. Let's see how this works. So you can see that our list is currently empty. I say enter two words, A and B. And now we have our list with one element a dictionary, first A, second B. So far, so good. Now I say CD. And now our, uh oh, here we have a list of two elements, which is what we would expect because we've appended twice to the list. But our first dictionary has changed. It is now C and D, as is the second. What's going to happen if I say ENF? It's not going to be good. ENF, and ENF, and ENF. Meaning we're not only adding a new dictionary to our list each time, which is what we wanted, but somehow we're changing the previous dictionaries. And this is really puzzling. And I've seen it happen a lot of times to my students. So what's going on here? It's probably easiest if we look in the Python Tutor, one of my favorite tools for teaching. All right, so watch this. This is a visualization of what's going on. My list is an empty list. D is an empty dictionary, while true. And now we're going to print my list, so empty list. And I'm going to say, once again, A and B. So what happens here? Well, we get the input into S. S is indeed a string. We're going to see. And then we're going to split it up, A and B, so far. So good. We're going to set that, first A, second B. And we are going to append that to our list. So my list is now a list with one element, index 0. And it's referring to our dict. That's what we want. That's good. You only see the problem, though, next time around. So now let's do C and D. Watch what's going to happen. So it's not blank. So we're going to break it up. First and second are C and D. And now look at this. D of first. We are now going to change D of first. Well, if I go to D of first, I'm not only changing a new dictionary. I'm changing a new. I'm changing the existing dictionary. First C, second D, and I append it. And now my list is has two elements, both of which are referring to the same dictionary, meaning I don't want them to be the same dictionary. I want them to be pointing to different dictionaries. But because they're both referring to the same dictionary and I modify the dictionary the second time around, that is now affecting my first one as well. And if I do this again, E and F, we're going to start to see what the root of the problem is. And here we go. We assign, we assign, we assign. And now we have three references to that same dictionary bad news. So what's our mistake here? Our mistake here is that we're reusing the same dictionary each time. So how can we fix this? How can we fix this problem? It's so easy. We move the D equals empty dictionary into the loop. Now why does that work? It works because every time you use assignment in Python, we break the connection between a variable and the thing it's referring to. So previously, we had not been assigning D all over. We'd been assigning elements of D. But by assigning to D, D equals an empty dictionary, we're breaking that connection. The previous dictionary still exists, but they're only um, referenceable. We can only get to them via my list. Now we, have a, now we have a totally new dictionary that D is referring to. If I say here A, B, C, D, E, F, and you see D, <laughs> you see that basically there's no connection between them, which is exactly what we wanted. And sure enough, if I go back to the Python tutor now and I modify to do the same thing, we're going to be in a much better situation. So you really have to be careful with these sorts of assignments and make sure that you're assigning the, if you're going to be appending the same name 
time after time, make sure that that name is referring to different dictionaries, not to the same dictionary each time. Of course, this is only an issue because dictionaries are mutable. If they were immutable, who would care? But because they're mutable, we need to worry about this. So now, mile is zero refers to first second, A, B. Now I'm going to say C, D, and you're going to see that we're going to now create a totally new dictionary, right? D is now referring to a new dictionary. It's not referring to my list zero's dictionary. So now when we add key value, now you see our list is indeed referring to totally, totally separate dictionaries. And if we keep going with E and F, it's going to be precisely the same sort of thing and go on and on and on. Now, one last thing here, don't think that because we have indented, we have local variables. D is not a local variable. D is still a global variable, as we can see in this global frame in the Python tutor. But it's the fact that we are assigning it to a new dictionary each time and breaking that previous connection that allows us to create this uh, more complex data structure. I hope this was enjoyable and interesting. If you have questions, please address them to me on Twitter or via email. Please don't forget, I have my free weekly Better Developers uh, newsletter that comes out with Python tips every Monday. Get in touch with me. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to answer your questions. More to come real soon.